What's up? I'm Tyler Carter. My record's coming out. It's called Leave Your Love. I created a playlist for you guys to listen to that kind of reflects my style as an artist. It reflects like a little bit of like the influence behind my record. Not always um, do I put all this influence into every single song, but um, I definitely take influence from a lot of these artists like with my voice, my tone, and who I am as a person even. So here's my playlist. First off, Brandy, Scared of Beautiful. Such a great song, such a, a, a deep message. Um, a lot of people definitely can connect with this song because I think the lyrics mean a lot about self-acceptance, but kind of like the complexities and the back and forth between how we feel about ourselves as people. One of the songs I, I like my mom to listen to a lot, I, I send it to her when she's having a bad day. Number two, we got the Fugees, Ready or Not. I'm a huge Lauryn Hill fan. I'm a huge Wyclef fan. Um, and it's just definitely one of my favorite songs off the Fuji's record. Um, I don't even remember the name of the record. I'm a horrible fan. Whatever. Ready or not, check it out. Number three, we got Chris Brown, Don't Judge Me. Chris Brown and what he's done for pop culture. I feel like he's not a super deep artist with lyrics. Um, this song really changed my perspective on that. If you listen to it, you'll definitely connect with it um, on an emotional level. Number four, Nick Jonas, Chains. If you haven't heard Nick Jonas's new record, you have to pick it up, it's amazing. Chains is my favorite song on the record. Frank Ocean, Sweet Life. I'm really 2000 and late, I'm stuck in, in like 10, 11, and I can't stop listening to Channel Orange. It's forever one of my favorite records. I think it was next level. Um, Sweet Life is such a cool, cool vibey song and if you're not familiar with Frank Ocean he's like my favorite lyricist since John Lennon. Sam Smith, Leave Your Lover I, I'm for sure on the Sam Smith train and I'll take it to my grave he's a great singer um, definitely a great artist Leave Your Lover is came out after I wrote this, my record but it's such a great song you can hear a lot of Sam Smith's emotion in his music and in his lyrics. Keith Urban, You'll Think of Me. I'm from the South. I was born and raised in Georgia. I'm a country music fan. Keith Urban is one of my favorite country artists. You'll Think of Me is a great song. One of my favorite songs. I just realized a lot of songs on my playlist are pretty slow and vibey, but I guess I'm getting to a more um, emo part of my playlist. Miley Cyrus, Adore You. Everybody thinks Miley's crazy. I think Miley's crazy, but I love it. I think that her record was good. Adore You was a slow jam, and I liked how it kept kind of pulling you in, and it just kept kind of sailing, and I really love that. Tori Kelly, Celestial. <sighs> Don't get me started on Tori Kelly. She's my favorite artist since Brandy, of course, but she's so amazing. Like. It's, it's almost unreal, it's almost unhuman how good she is at singing and how creative she is with her voice. Like, she can do so many things with her voice and it just blows me away, but Celestia is one of the songs from her first EP that I feel like she didn't do much with her voice at all. There's not a lot of runs, she didn't take it there, she just kind of vibed on the track and it's very poetic, so if you like jazz and you like poetry, it's just one of those songs that's like, it's just colorful, uh, celestial. Ariana Grande, Why Try. My favorite song by Ariana Grande is Honeymoon Avenue because I like how she actually enunciates everything in that song. You know, um, she's cute, but I think she sings through her nose a lot, which is fine, it's her style. But Why Try is like my favorite song on her new album. Brandy, The Boy Is Mine. I don't really know what it is I like about this song, but I learned how to do runs and trills, and I kind of learned a lot about like how Brandy does her borrowing notes. I, I learned a lot about how Brandy just goes crazy. Uh, she's a freaking goddess. I, I can't say it enough. The Boy's Mind has, has taught me everything I know about R&B and pop or whatever, about my boy. Everything I know about my boys is because I listen to that song religiously, and I sing to it a lot, I practice to it, it's a great song. Uh, if 
you want to get really you know, skillful with your voice or whatever. Justin Bieber, recovery. Everybody has a guilty pleasure with Justin Bieber and nobody wants to talk about it, but I think that if you want to talk about how you like Justin Bieber and not be ashamed, you should download the record Journals. It's such a great record. All the songs are really mature and really like sexual and vibey. My favorite in this song, Recovery, is because it reminds me of Craig David and that's such a mature thing to do with your voice if you're a, a pop artist or an R&B artist. Um, Craig David is like one of my all-time favorites as well. So, Craig David, <laughs> fill me in. Great song, don't need to talk about it. Love Craig David. Had to pick that next, obviously. Usher, Climax, because who doesn't love Usher? Obviously he has broken the mold and he is now a legend. He's following the footsteps of amazing artists like Whitney Houston and Michael Jackson. And I should have picked a Michael Jackson song, but I'm trying to be as modern as possible. Last but definitely not least is Brandy, So Sick. The reason I picked this song last is because I was listening to it an hour ago. I listen to it every day. I don't know why. It's just a feel-good song. It's from a record, 2011, and I don't know. Again, I'm 2000 late. I can't stop listening to stuff I picked up like two or three years ago, but Brandy's so sick. Listen to it. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. That's just the way it feels. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll listen to my playlist, and hopefully you'll like it. Um, hopefully you won't fall asleep, or actually, you could use it to fall asleep too. Um, and if not, because I didn't put it on my playlist, you should download the new Ed Sheeran record. It will bring tears to your eyes. If you're a person who lives and breathes music like I do, check out Ed Sheeran's new record. It's amazing. Thanks for watching. Peace out.